Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guests are writers, actresses, comedians who were introduced to us by Tiffany Haddish on her Netflix special, They Ready. Let's take a look. It's like, April, you can't blame your parents anymore for your problems, okay? You're an adult. You make your own decisions. I'm like, yeah, but you can say that because you grew up with, like, homemade pudding and positive reinforcement. <laughs> <laughs> My mother's Puerto Rican. <laughs> My father's Dominican. <laughs> and my stepfather's Cuban. I single-handedly represent the entire Spanish-speaking Caribbean. And I grew up going to the hair salon with my grandmother every week, and every week they tried to blow dry the Dominican out of me. Please welcome Ida Rodriguez, April Macy, and Shantae Wayans. Yes. Hey. Well, let me just tell you, Ida, <clears throat> those legs you got. <laughs> Don't come down to the sister circle having all laced up and wrapped up. <laughs> you know, you have like Tina Turner legs that need Tina Turner insurance. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. It's cold, though. It's cold. <laughs> it is. It is. It's actually right now. <laughs> well, you know, cute don't get cold and fine don't freeze. Uh, ooh. We just have a slight chill from time to time. Oh. 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 I like that. But what I do love are all of you women coming together on the Women's Work Tour. How did that come about? Well, we're naturally friends. Ida saved me from a beat down in Korea. Uh, from a <laughs> Korean store owner who accused me of being too fat to fit his garments. <laughs> no. So that's how we really bond. <laughs> and then you yeah, came along with her. Uh, when did we, we've been friends for a while. Since but, I started doing stand-up. Yeah. Ida, Ida's always been the person to like, she'll call me and be like, why are you doing this? What you, you know, like, she, she, she puts stuff She together. motivates you. Yeah, she's, she's the motivator. And, uh, <laughs> and, and just make sure you handle in business. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, we all, we all pretty much just been friends. Uh, and we're stronger together. Like, yeah. we, uh, we're so different. We all represent a different demographic. Yes. Um, and we, uh, we really stand for what we stand for. Yeah. Like we're not just saying it, you know, just to get likes or whatever. And we realize that the way <coughs> comedy is set up for women, um, we really get a lot of um, results when we go out together yeah. because we have something to offer. Three, we're three headliners yeah. bringing and three friends three working back, together. Yeah, three friends and, and three different backgrounds. So yeah. it's like we have something for a little bit of everybody. What was it like working with Tiffany Haddish? Oh man, she's also well, she yeah. she's she's friends. friends. Yeah. yeah, friends for a long time. She's yeah. part of the yeah. Well, she's part of the team. She just blew up. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, got, <laughs> she blew up before. <laughs> yeah, we just we're yeah. all friends. Yeah. Like. Um, Tiffany lived with April. Yeah. You know, she's one of my first friends in comedy. Wow. We were, you know, we were both in April's wedding. You know, like, she threatened to murder my husband oh, if he no. hurt me, which no. was nice. Yeah. No, no, only if he hurt me, so it's oh, fine. Oh, okay, good. That was a good I threat. Good. That's a good it felt threat. Satisfying. Yeah. And it felt yeah. Ever, satisfying. Ever since I brought uh, <laughs> Tiffany uh, the only gift she wanted for her, uh, what's it called? Her uh, wedding, when, you, when you do a gift. A wedding and you have like the little bachelorette party or whatever. Oh, the bridal show? Yeah, yeah. I like that you didn't know the word bachelorette party. I didn't know the <laughs> 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 the bachelorette party. No, it wasn't the bachelorette. It was no strippers then. But um, basically, I was the only one that bought her the, the gift she wanted on her list. And Which was that? Well, what was it? It was, it was a, a plate set and with cups, and she still has like one of the plates in the cups. Oh, uh, so. <laughs> all the rest of them got broken in transit, but it's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the biggest prankster amongst you guys? Um, I think I would start it, they would and be, yeah. she would try to catch me. Like she'll try to come in, yeah, silently. Yeah, yeah. April. I just cry a lot. She cries. You were sending it one. April's the one that when we but can't get crying, our way. Yeah, her crying gets us perks, upgrades. It's a, yeah. uh, All you gotta oh, do is weep at a counter yeah, once in a while. April, go <laughs> yeah. cry. Wait a minute. <laughs> April, I need an April in my life. Wait, no, we don't need any more criers. There's enough. That we have enough sense. Yeah, no, but, but, but a circle. white woman. Crying Crying is yeah. different. I need, I, need, I, need, I need April's privilege. We got white privilege, yeah. Yep. She knows how to use it. She weaponizes it for our benefit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need to put her I have gotten eight hundred dollars in travel benefits <laughs> yeah. the last two weeks by just are complaining. You, yeah, you gotta you complain. I'm not afraid to complain. You gotta, after the show, you gotta give us some keywords to use. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. Well, right. speaking of privilege. Uh, Ida, as a comedian, you use uh, your, 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 your stage mm -hmm. to talk about issues like gender and mm -hmm. uh, sexual equality and race. So let's talk about that. Well, 
Well, you know, like, um, I, I'm one of those people that doesn't believe in policing comedy, and mm -hmm. I think that comedy has a spectrum and we need it all. Like, when I'm down, there are some people I want to watch that are not talking about anything but, like, airport food and dogs. And then there are people who are like George Carlin and Dave Chappelle who tackle social issues. Mm -hmm. I feel most comfortable there. Like, I feel like as a woman of color and as a woman, um, that it's important for me to use my platform to speak about the issues. And, and if I can use my comedy as a tool to tackle those things and make the conversations a little bit easier to have, then so be it. I love it. I think that's, you know, that's, that's my, my lane and I really enjoy talking about Not that I enjoy, but I feel like it's important to talk about it and finding the funny in those issues is something that I've, I've found, my, that's my lane. Do you mm -hmm. think it's become too censored? Do you think people are becoming a little bit too, more, too, too, too conservative? Or too sensitive. Too sensitive when it comes to comedy now? Yeah. yeah well, absolutely. My husband's Iranian, so we've been dealing with a travel ban for two years, and mm -hmm. without fail, every weekend, like, there's always somebody. Where I'm like, oh, I just got married, and I'm like, don't clap, he's Iranian, he can't get in the country. <laughs> and, like, without fail, somebody's like, yeah, keep him out. <laughs> It's so disheartening <laughs> going yeah. from town to town. We, we changed we change so, that mood, you know what I mean? And it's like, you know, people know comedy comes from pain, mm -hmm. a lot of it. So to be able to say stuff, even though we might have to deal with it in our own personal world, to be able to let that out on stage mm -hmm. is like, we're going through too much. Like, let's just laugh and yeah. enjoy each other. And I always question people who get, um, who are outraged because if it only bothers you when we're talking about something that specifically hurts someone else, you're overly offended. If it's, but if it's yeah. all you, if it's mm -hmm. only you, then you are being self-centered. Because mm -hmm. if you're not outraged about all the things that are happening, like there are people who write these Yelp reviews, you know, I, I, I got people, they write think pieces about me, about what they're outraged about the stuff that I condone. And I'm like, if you're not bothered by Tamir Rice's death as much as you're not as as much as you're bothered by this, then I don't want to hear what you got to say mm -hmm. because right. it's, you, it, this is just selective outrage. So at this point, if you censor comedians, we're done because we're the last ones. We're on the final frontier of saying the things that need to be said. And if you want to take our voice away, then nobody's going to be able to say anything. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, wow. with that, we will have more with Ida Rodriguez, April Macy, and Shante Wayans when we come back. Oh yeah. I'm fighting for the little man left of me. I'm like, come on, coach, put me back in the game. <laughs> they looking at me like, my mans, you had a good run. 17 years of us not knowing you was menstruating? That's good stats right there. <laughs> We are still having a great time with the ladies of Women's Work Comedy wow. Tour. And that was just a little taste of Shantae's stand-up. Hilarious. <laughs> Thank you so Looks much. Looks super cute. Thank you. I know I yes. got to get back down to that weight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I tell you what a Netflix money special would have. Well, well, Shantae, we both come from entertainment families. Yes. But what made you want to uh, stay into the family business of funny? Here's what's funny. I didn't. Um, uh, I basically uh, wanted to be, and I was into computers, so I wanted to be a computer science, and I went to college for a semester and was like, yeah, this ain't it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then my mom sent me to uh, Cali, but I was able to like find the whole be uh, behind the scenes of like editing and stuff like that, and then I found stand up you know, through being out in L.A. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks good on you. Thank you. How about that? Thank you. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a beautiful thing. It was a voice that I found that yeah. I felt like I didn't have growing up. Now, April, earlier we talked about you getting married. Is your husband in the States? He is now. We finally got him in. It took about two years. We got married September 2nd, 2018. Mm -hmm. Our visa was denied September 18th because of the travel ban. Mm. So then we had to file this waiver and wait another year. And then finally, it's like, I just wrote this hostile letter to the consulate. Mm -hmm. It was like five mm -hmm. pages, a lot of weeping, a lot of typing. Mm -hmm. And then it got uh, picked up by the mm -hmm. LA Times. And then, so nice. funny, we got our, we got our visa mm -hmm. after that. So how soon after it had been in the LA Times? or featured in the LA Times. It was and the, we had, came home. I wrote the I wrote the letter to the consulate, and we had like another interview like a week later. And then the LA Times article ran on a Monday. Our interview, a second interview, was on a Tuesday. And what do you know? Yeah. He's in the country. <laughs> He's here now. Yeah. So. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Boy, that works. Nick, that's what I, I feel like I, it took me a long time to get a husband. I was like, if you keep him out, I got nothing else. <laughs> a stable woman. There's not a lot of choices after this. Right. So what, what's the thing about your mom painting pictures of Michael Bolton? Oh, yeah, what's yeah. That? My mom's a wild boozer. She likes to fall down the stairs at my shows. She just, <laughs> she just drinks and paints pictures. There it is. Of her and Michael Bolton in various tender embraces. Oh, so, wow. She drew herself yeah, in that's the her. Painting. 
think she's <laughs> under the cloak. She ha she's like in the cloak with Bolton. That is brilliant. Michael Bolton. Yeah, Michael, Michael Bolton. 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 Who else is going to marry me when you got to bring them home to that nonsense? Stop. He stopped talking about my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, this is a question for all of you. What would you tell yourself if you can give yourself, your younger selves, one piece of advice? Quit. <laughs> You don't know. I feel like patience is the one yeah, thing that takes yeah. forever to learn. Like if I thought it was going to take 17 years for a Netflix special, yeah. I would have become a doctor. Yeah, you would have <laughs> been a doctor by now. Yeah. Um, I think I would have. I would have just told my younger self that it's going to be all right on the other side. Just mm. keep going. Yeah. Um, because you know, it, it doesn't look like it's ever going to come. You know. Mm. Wow. Yeah. When, yeah. During those times when it got tough for you, what kept you guys in it? What what kept you? Saying, you know what? I'm gonna stick with comedy. No other it's, life skills. Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, you know, you know, it's crazy for me. I feel like without it, I would be depressed. You know, oh, wow. yeah. you don't really. It's 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 a very, you know, crazy uh, environment and, and all that stuff. But there's nothing like being on that stage mm -hmm. and being a, you know having people come up to you and and say like I've never seen anybody like you yeah. was worth yeah. like my journey and, yeah. and what I stood for. My now kids. your piece of advice is I don't think you're gonna I'm gonna let that slide. <laughs> what, what would you tell your younger self? Oh, what I tell um, to to just you you're doing it for a bigger cause. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. keep going, believe in yourself, and and. Um, It'll come. Yeah. All right. Aww. I'll tell myself yeah. not to marry my first ah. husband. Right. <laughs> hey, Joining us today, just be sure to follow Ida on Instagram at Funny Ida, Shante at C. Williams, and April at April Macy to find out when the Women's Work Comedy Tour is coming to a city near you.